What is up, people? Mr. Valley here, bringing you another video. Welcome back to Starshine Legacy. This is level five, Dark Core Garnock Project. Alex and Tin can ride toward Devil's Gap. So many strange things have happened in the last few days. Now things are starting to fall into place, but for every answer, there are even more questions. What is the Garnock Project, and how can Alex save her brother? Oh boy. Okay, I think the Garnock project is hidden somewhere close to this shore. Where do you think we should start to look, Tin Can? I think there are some buildings along the shore. Let's check them out, but be careful. I'm sure there are guards around here somewhere. Okay. Hold on. I think this is some kind of tunnel entrance. I bet this leads to the Garnock project. That's okay. I'll just wait here and stay out of trouble until you get back. Not yet. Let me at least get the stars. Also, didn't you say there was buildings on the shoreline somewhere? Oops. I mean, you said to check the, the buildings first, right? Hey, be careful, there are guards ahead. I'd better dismount so I can use my soul strike power on the goons. Yes, Alex, I don't want to get hit in the head by your powers when you're on my back. Can I get the star? Thank you. Oh, oh. Wait till he... Get him. Oh, I hit him. get him to run towards me. No? Okay. Oh, I missed. You know what's funny? I don't know if you've ever played the Spider-Man games for the PlayStation 1. They have the same exact sound effects as the goons on there. You pick up a key card. Okay, that's what I needed. And I don't think I can use the key card here. I think that is where the tunnel leads. So let's go do that now. Come on. I don't know how they stay stunned, uh, how long they stay stunned, but at least it, until the end of the level. Okay, so Tin Can does not want to go through this pipe. And I don't think he can anyway. Who knows? 
Here we go. Let's see what this key card opens up. Okay, this is a little bit dizzying. Why are you tilting like that? See, she keeps tilting to the side for some reason. Oh, this is the key card, right? Yep. It's open. Now I can sneak in. Uh, but the guards are right there. Oops, there are workers down here. Let's see if I can hear what they're talking about. Well, I'm glad this job is over. This place gives me the creeps. Yeah, let's get out of here and back to Jorvik. Mr. Sands is here. I have to be careful so I don't get caught, but people seem to be leaving. So I'll sneak around a bit and see what I find. That was loud. I mean, I don't know where you're sneaking exactly. That is really loud, isn't it? I see a star. Blast it! My powers are weak after that girl sent me back to the ship. It'll take years for me to get my powers back. What are we going to do about the four girls, Commander? We have the last Soul Rider's brother, and she will trade the horse for him. We only need one of the horses to unlock Garnock's prison. But what about the girl with the fearsome powers? Won't she try to stop us? Of course she will, but the ancient codes that describe how she could challenge us are well hidden. Fortunately for us, Alex doesn't know about them, and since this book that I hold is the only place they are described, she never will. I love how evil villains always tend to explain their entire plan right in front of the hero. Ha 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 I have to get my hands on that book. I better prepare to use my soul strike power if it's needed. I also love how Fripp said to use it sparingly. But uh, she's just using it on like everybody she possibly can. They got me and threw me out of here. This time I'll be more careful. Okay. Um, I was trying to get the star. Because I'm not sure what happens once you uh, strike everybody. I already got the star though, so that's good. Boop. <sighs> gotcha, Mr. Science. <sighs> so I guess I could have actually got this star. You pick up the Pandorian code. Dang, that's loud. Okay. Okay, I can't do anything about it. Let's leave. We'll tell Tin Can all about it. Dang, sorry. It's a little bit hard to control this when you're going up. Tin Can, get ready. We're getting out of here. Great, I was thinking you'd never make it. Hey, what's that book? I don't know yet, but we'll check it out later. Right now, we just have to focus on getting out of here. Ride like the wind, Tin Can. Will do, Alex. 
That's a Toy Story reference. Kind of does look like Bullseye, doesn't it? You're stuck. Oh. Alex, I think we can slow down now. No one is following us. We only went a couple steps. You're right. We'll stop so that I can look at the book. I wonder what it says and why it's so important. Let's find out quickly. Listen to this, Tenkan. The book describes some sort of code for fighting duels with Garnok's generals. These are the ancient codes of Pandoria, a set of rules even something as evil as Garnok and his generals must follow. Hey, that looks like Katya and me. No, it's not me. It's just someone who looks like me. They're fighting, and that's a neat trick. It's like Katya is banished into some other dimension. Maybe I can use that trick to beat Katya and save James. Sure, but we must hurry. We can't stay here forever, Alex. You're right. Let's ride to Devil's Cap and teach Katya a lesson. Level 5 completed. Thank you guys very much for watching. I will see you in the next episode. Please like the video, subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you next time. Bye.